and welcome back to another exciting episode of Nessa Tries Boxy Charm for the month of May. I am very pumped about this month's box. I have already taken a little sneak peek inside just so I know what base I want to start with. I have just a little bit of foundation, concealer, bronzer, and some brows on because the rest we are going to be diving into and applying with the box. But really quickly, before we get into that, I do want to mention that this video is extra special because I have a giveaway for one of you guys. I just recently hit 10,000 subscribers and to me, I, I still can't even believe it. I'm still in disbelief that 10,000 of you like to watch my videos. I mean, it's just so... I mean, it's awesome. I, I have no words for it really, but you know, thank you. So as a thank you from me to one of you guys, I wish I could give you all something, but unfortunately I can't. <laughs> so I'm gonna be having a giveaway of a brand new Smoke Sessions palette by Melt Cosmetics. I thought this would be the perfect kind of giveaway item because it's a little bit more of a treat yourself moment. I do have my very own palette over here. I personally really enjoy this palette, as you can tell by how messy it is. <laughs> I've dipped into it so many, many times that I just wanted to give one away to you guys. I thought it would be really fun. All of the details about this giveaway is going to be in the description box down below. I am going to be using the website Gleam. Just hit the link, make an account, make sure you're subscribed, and that's really it. <laughs> there are no other real requirements. And once the giveaway is over, I will be announcing it on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me there and check on my stories. But that is all of the details to the giveaway. I thought I'd mention it early because if I said, I'm going to leave it to the end. I know a few people would probably skip to the end first. <laughs> so I thought I'd just include this first. Now that that is out the way though, let's go ahead and move into today's boxy charm video. Inside of this month's box, there is five items. The theme of the box is make waves. Here is the pamphlet, and of course here on the back it lists all the products, the description, all that good stuff. First up in the box, I have a product by Glam Glow. This is their gentle bubble cleanser, and it's actually a lot of product that you get inside of this. It's five ounces for $28, and this product says that it's a daily conditioning cleanser that is also a makeup remover. It has oat amino acids, apple extract, vitamin E, and green tea extracts to deep clean and remove impurities. It is soap, fragrance, and SLS SLES free and it's all skin types approved. Now, I did receive my Boxy Charm yesterday, so I decided to put this to the test last night. I had a full face of makeup on and decided to use it to see if I could remove my makeup and also leave my skin feeling clean. And it actually worked out really well. I ended up using a little bit too much product, <laughs> that was totally on me, but it did work to remove all of the makeup that I had in my face, including all of my mascara and a liquid lipstick that I had on. And at the end when I washed the cleanser off my face, I didn't have any residue. I even went in with a toner just to kind of check and everything was off the face. I didn't have any leftovers anywhere on the face, which I was really impressed by because I sometimes get a little bit lazy and I'll just use a cleanser to remove my makeup and clean the face. But I'll typically do a two-step process, one time for removing the makeup, another time to cleanse the face because sometimes the cleanser doesn't get all of the makeup off and I just go in with that second layer to ensure everything is off. And this actually worked out beautifully. So first impressions of this is I really like it, but with cleansers and things, you do have to give it a few weeks to really take effect and see any kind of benefits or side effects and things like that. At the moment, my skin has been somewhat behaving. It's not really breaking out too crazy. I will be continuing to use this and putting this to the test. I did start a new series called After the First Impressions. So after a month of using a product, I will update you guys on how it worked for me. I'll definitely include this one in the next after the first impressions video and let you guys know how continued use of this product goes. The second item in the box is by Ciate London. It is their Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. It retails for $22 and I have the shade Cupid and oh my gosh, just look at that shade. It goes from a purple to a gold when you shift it in the light. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait to put this on the eyes. Inside of this box though, there is no eyeshadow 
palette, but we do have one palette that I'm thinking I want to work in with this, which is going to be our third item. And this one is by Alamar Cosmetics. It is the Colorette Blush Trio. And for some reason, they decided to give me the medium to tan palette. To me, it's not that big of a deal because I can definitely still make these colors work. I think it looks really gorgeous still. Since there's no rules to makeup, I'm going to be using this blush palette on the eyes today to combine it with this liquid eyeshadow. So let me zoom in a little bit closer and let's do this. I'm going to begin with the lightest shade over here called Seclusion. I'm just working this in with my Sigma E40 brush. Just working this in to the transition. And this is just a really gorgeous, light, kind of peachy toned color. And with that same shade, just on a different brush, this is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. It doesn't exactly have a name. I'm just gonna run this all the way across on the lower lash line. Then I'm just gonna work my way kind of down the line here. So I'm gonna dip into Isla. I hope I say that right. <laughs> gonna take my Sephora crease brush and just start working this into the outer V and also bringing it in a little bit into the crease as well. Which by the way, I don't think I mentioned it, but this palette does retail for $22. And it's just gonna make everything very cohesive because I'm also gonna take one of these to use as a blush. So the entire face will just be very tied together. I'm very excited to see how this turns out. Now it does have a little bit of fallout. So if you are planning to use it as eyeshadow also, just be a little careful. I mean, it's not really meant to be this. We're just using it like that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna whisk that away. And then again, with that same shade, just a different brush, I'm gonna be taking my Sigma E55 and just taking a little bit on the lower lash line, bringing it in about two thirds of the way in. Now let's take this last shade called Toasted. Taking this on my Morphe Y19 brush and working this in the outer V. And I don't know about you guys, but this color scheme right here is giving me ColourPop Sweet Talk palette vibes. And I really like that. And these shades are definitely a lot softer. I mean, they're blushes, so they're not going to be as pigmented as an eyeshadow and as intense. But I think for blushes being used as eyeshadow, I quite like where it ended up going. Let me whisk away some more of this kind of fallout here. But now we have a proper base so we can go in with the Ciate London Liquid Shadow. Now it says it can be swiped over for a full coverage look. And you can also blend it out for a more sheared out look. Just to see a little bit of sparkle as kind of a topper. So let me use the applicator first and see how it looks more full coverage. And then we'll go from there. Ooh, that is so gorgeous though. I'm just gonna blend this all over the lid. So here's how it looks with one coat and I think that actually looks gorgeous. I think I'm just gonna take a little brush and just run it along the edges here so it doesn't look so harsh. And it is drying down quite fast because it's kind of difficult to move out here. <laughs> I may have had to do it pretty fast to blend it out, but that's really beautiful. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Let me work quicker here and take the brush right away and try to blend out the edges here. I'm kind of curious though, is it buildable? So I think I'll just take a little bit more over here. Oh yeah, definitely buildable. I'm not seeing any of the product underneath get disturbed. It was almost fully dried down here on this side. Ooh, wow, now it's really intense. I was going for something a little bit more softer, but I just couldn't help myself. I wanted to add another layer. <laughs> Good lord, this is gorgeous though. Wow. I think just to help blend the edges out a little bit, I'm gonna take some of that toasted shade with the Wet n Wild Flat Shadow Brush and just tap it lightly against the edges here. Just so everything kind of blends together. But man, I'm freaking loving that. I think that is beautiful together. Let me use this palette one more time and actually use it for what it's supposed to be. That's blush. I think I'll take the lightest shade. Okay, let's, let's play a little safe. We went a little daring with eyes. So I'm taking Seclusion on my Morphe Y9 brush. Man, for blush it is quite pigmented. 
It does tie the whole look together. Now we can use the fourth product in the box. This is by Pure. It is a lash curler. And this is quite a pricey little lash curler. It's $18. It does actually work out quite nice for me though because I've been in need of a new lash curler. Mine broke about a year ago and I just haven't gotten myself a new one. So for an entire year, I haven't been curling my lashes. So I'm actually quite happy I ended up getting one. This comes in handy for me. Oh yeah, nice and curled. Now let's toss on a little bit of mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Snapshot, Snap, no, Snapscara. Messed that name up. <laughs> Just gonna coat up the top and the bottom lashes. And I feel like with today's eye look, it needs some falsies. So I'm gonna go in with the Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Lashes in the style Corset. I have used these a few times now. I really, really enjoy them. The Kiss Lashes have quickly become one of my favorite brands for lashes. They are just so incredible and so affordable. I mean, look at that. $7 lashes. Well, they're $6.99 at Rite Aid, a few bucks cheaper at Walmart if you can find them there, but I freaking love these. They just do something for me. So gorgeous. Totally changed the eye look right there. <laughs> and now we are ready to go in with the last product in the box. This is by Oriza. It is the Opaline Top Gloss. It's right over here. This is the Ciate London Liquid Shadow but here is the gloss and this is in champagne cocktail. Now, since this is a topper gloss, I am just gonna kind of touch up what I have on the lips right now, which is just a lip liner, nothing else. This is the Rimmel London in 49 Natural and I just filled in the whole lips with this color. And with that all over the lips, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this gloss and apply it over. It says you can wear it alone and just have your lips look a little bit glossy, a little sparkly, but I like having a little nude color underneath. It's kind of a jam. I enjoy nude lips with a little gloss. And I think it's scented. It has a very sweet smell. Makes it very enjoyable to put on the lips. Which, by the way, this gloss was $14.99. That was now the last item inside of this month's BoxyCharm. So let's quickly recap here. We received five items inside of this month's box. And when you add up all of the values of the items, we have a grand total of $105. I'm very happy with this month's box. I definitely have two items that were standouts for me. The first being the Alamar Cosmetics Blush Tree. Rio. Even though I got the medium to tan one and not the light one, I still think these colors are absolutely gorgeous and I'm definitely going to keep using it. It was very pigmented, blendable, beautiful. And the second item, whoops, that's the wrong one, <laughs> is the Ciate London Liquid Shadow. This color is just so gorgeous. From the purple to the gold shift, I think it is beautiful. And these two paired together, I think is what made me love them even more because it just, it was it's such a good combo and I'm so happy I decided to use the blush as the eyeshadow because it just worked. As far as the other items inside of the box, the cleanser I will update you guys on in probably next month's after the first impressions video and let you know how it ended up working out for me after a month of use. The lash curler by Pure, I mean, it's, it's a lash curler. It's nothing too special about it. I like the color of it. It helped to curl my lashes. That's about it. I was in need of one, so it worked out for me. And the only item that I didn't really enjoy was this and little lip gloss. It is too sticky for me. Initially, when you put it on, you're like, ooh, this is really nice. But then it starts to almost dry down where the lip gloss gets even more tacky. So if your lips get stuck together, it has that uncomfortable, sticky feeling where it's just going like this is actually my second application now I popped off camera for a quick second and then I realized that the gloss was almost gone so I reapplied some and then my lips kept sticking together and I want to show you guys up close after a while the gloss just seems to start to separate so the gloss definitely has to be my least favorite item inside of this month's box. Probably wouldn't reach for it much after today just cause I already know I don't really like it. But even with the lip gloss being kind of a dud for me, I still really enjoyed the other four items inside of this month's box. So I still really enjoyed this month's box. 
And before I forget, don't forget to hit the link down below in the description box so you can enter to win your own Smoke Sessions palette from my 10K giveaway. I'm so excited to be able to give this palette away to one of you guys. Good luck to every single one of you. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and watching all of my videos. It honestly means the world to me. With that being said, that is where I'm going to wrap up today's video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.